Welkom bij de Dronken Barbecue en today we're going to make my favorite pizza. And if you wonder how we're going to do that on an offset smoker, well, then I have to disappoint you. As we're going out of our comfort zone and we're going gas. My favorite pizza, guys, needs to come out of a pizza oven and therefore, ta-da, we have this thing now. <laughs> I have no clue how it works. We're going to figure it out. I haven't used it before. It's still in the box, so, well, let's all get out of our comfort zone and see what's going to happen. <laughs> Maybe nothing. Oh, shit. You see? Here we go. Oh. First obstacle, how the hell you open that box? More. There's more. More tape, guys. More. No. Oh, there we go. There we go. The grand reveal and see what's in the... Ah, more tape. Holy shit. We're doing good, guys. <laughs> oh. I think we need to get a pizza from a takeaway. Well, there we go. The grand reveal. Paper. Manuals. More paper. Maybe this thing is not running on gas, it's running on paper. Paper. Cardboard. The stone. We need to be careful with that, guys. Well, let's put the stone aside. We don't need that yet, obviously. More cardboard. The gas hose. So it's not running on paper. And there we go. The beast. Oh, this is the bomb. It's got some legs. Empty box. Oh, cardboard. So, there we go. Box is empty. Manuals in hand, obviously we haven't read those yet. That would not be a manly thing to do, right? So, uh, well, let's see what we come across. Box, Christmas. Christmas, guys. Oh, are you calling them? But then the reverse. Hard to take off. <laughs> Well, there we go. It's got some legs, so get these going. And I get the feeling that that's it. Well, that was kind of minutes work, guys. Hook up the bottle, stick your cat in the oven, and off you go. <laughs> well, it's got a knob on the end here. See what that's for. Let me push it. Oh, ignition! Ignition and well, I guess uh, the third all right. The bigger the better. <laughs> For the flames. Well, there we go. I cut it off the ground so we're going to keep the cats out. There's a safety label here too. It's made from metal hanging on the gas line. Must be important. Can't read it. Funny language. Anyway, let's insert the stone. Take it from there. And there we go. Just like a tile setter. Fits perfectly right. Well, I have to say it looks pretty neat. I went pretty fast setting that one up. We've got one more surprise and uh, well, let's see what's in the box. Looks like some kind of big soup spoon though. See how that goes. Well, not that way. Something in the way. There we go. Don't need that. Something in here. More. More. Be in there. Can't get it out. Oh my god. Why do they wrap it like, like a bank? Oh. Yeah. It's a handle. The way it was wrapped up, I thought there must be like a couple of bucks in there. Well, let's put the handle on the spoon. Great big freaking spoon. And then uh, I'm going to show you what pizza we're going to make. Oh yeah, it's going to be my favorite one. 
Well guys, to put this thing together, there are two screw holes. You get four screws, where the other two are four, I don't know. We will figure it out. And we experience a little hiccup. I dropped the Allen key right in between the slots of the deck. Yes, I'm stupid. There we go. Well, let's continue. This thing might be packed by Santa Claus because I was taking the plastic off the, the gas connection and uh, well, what the hell is that? Isn't there got a little stick in there? I don't know what that's for, but it's probably in the manual I didn't read. <laughs> well, there we go, guys. Let's hook up some gas and get the flame going because uh, according to the box, there we go, where is it? There you go, it says. This thing can go up to 900 degrees. Well, we want to see that, eh? <laughs> and hopefully the table doesn't melt. Fingers crossed. And there you have it. Bottle is hooked up, gas valve is open. I checked, there is no more cardboard in here. <laughs> Smart boy. And here we go, see what's happening. Nothing. Oh! It's on. I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> I think you need to keep it pressed for a while. Just to get the thermal couple heated up. Can't change the camera angle because I'm kind of touched now. Sorry. No, not really. It is what it is. There we go. We got the lift off. Like a kid in the sweet shop, guys. Like a child in the sweet shop. Off we go. Full speed. Off to the 900 degrees. One well, little issue. No thermometer. That's kind of a bummer. But, hey. I've got a digital thermometer. That will help us out. Big style. I would say it's a bit of a, a cheap saving. No thermometer. You should get one. By the way, I do not get sponsored to, uh, to promote this. We just do it because we want to have a pizza. <laughs> Well, there we go. It's about uh, 500 degrees. We've been at it for about 10 minutes. Maybe I'm too impatient. Could be. It's a manly thing. Uh, it says 900 degrees, so let's keep it going. Let's keep it going, guys. But uh, yeah, in the meantime, we're gonna we're gonna prepare the pizza. First, we're taking our flour and we're gonna mix in the dry ingredients. There goes the yeast, followed by some sugar with a pinch of salt. Mix this well and we're moving over to the mechanical part of making dough. Praise the guy who invented the mixer. And here we go, the flour mixes in the mixer. And we're adding the olive oil and some lukewarm water. We're mixing this for say 5 minutes, till we're getting a nice elastic ball. And when you think the dough is too wet, then you add simply a little bit more flour. And when it's too dry, guess what? You add some more water. Next, you transfer the dough from the mixing bowl into another container. Cover it and leave it for a few hours so the yeast can do its magic. While the yeast is busy doing its thing, you need to do your best by nursing this bowl of goodness like a baby. And that's the dough done, guys. Now we're off making the topping. As the Turkish pizza is basically a thin flat bread with some spiced lamb meat, so for the topping, we need to blend up a load of veggies. And for this we dice up some tomatoes, onions, red pepper, garlic cloves. We're adding some chili flakes, tomato puree and a big pile of parsley. Pop the lid on the blender and give it a good go as you want a fairly fine precision if you want to stop before you get a veggie milkshake. Then we have here our minced meat in the bowl and hop our veggie mix straight on it. Then we're adding our final ingredients of oil and some salt. Then you want to get in there and work your meat like a man. And for the pizza, you put a liberal amount of flour on your work surface or the dough ends up on places you don't want to have it. You take your dough or bowl and start rolling it out in every direction till you have kind of a circle of say 2 millimeters or just less than a quarter inch thick. Next you take some of your minced meat topping and start working it out from the center outwards till you've covered nearly the whole dough. Oh so there we go, it's time to put the bad boy in the oven. Well there we go, we're half an hour further, it started snowing again, of course, so maybe that's got something to do with that thing not heating up, and it reads nothing, as in, 
it's too hot for my meter aka that thing must be roasting so let's get the pizza out well there we go my friends the first one goes in will it burn or not there you go guys we are baking pizzas in the snow <laughs> it's awesome Don't know if you see it, but it's blistering up nicely. Malafisha, guys, Malafisha, look at that, look at that. That's it, uh, that's flavor, that's flavor. I'm really pleased with that, actually. It's the first one ever. Now go to Costco and get yourself one of those pizza ovens. Fucking awesome. No, I don't get paid for this. Woo! I should have been an Italian. Look at a crunchy pizza. And to me the best way of eating this is with some lemon juice and of course some sliced onions as they are the vegetable of the future and some chopped coriander. It's just like I know what I'm doing. Hear that crunch? Hear that crunch guys? That's a pizza opera. Normally I just eat this pizza like a big roll. But for the camera I will be civilized and I cut it. Look what a roll of goodness, flavor galore. There you have it guys, out of the box, on the table in about 15 minutes. Give it half an hour for it to heat up and pizza time. Well, it's fairly easy. If I can do it, you can do it. Would I say, was it a bummer to buy this one? No, not really. It's a, a pretty good machine. Uh, I wish it was having a thermometer on it. And I think the next time I'm gonna use it when the sun is out. <laughs> now you've seen what a Turkish pizza is like. They're freaking awesome guys, they're freaking awesome. They're better than the Italian ones. They're just bad copycats. Anyhow, I'm going to enjoy my pizza. I know you're jealous, you wish you were here. Sorry you're not. But uh, when you enjoyed the video, hit those like and subscribe buttons and see you next week. And that's it again for this week guys. Hit those like and subscribe buttons and see you next week. Hey there, thanks for watching the video and now you're sad. Sad that the video is finished, but subscribe to my channel and you will never be sad again, ever.